Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. This one is gonna be a little bit of a hair update. I kinda did one summertime and now that it's fall, I kinda wanna touch base on what's been going on with my hair. For those who are new to my channel, this is what my hair looks like. It's long, it's thick, it's all mine. I have been natural for over 12 years I think it's been almost 15 now time is going by so fast the only thing I do to my hair is color it other than that I do not do any chemical treatments to alter the structure of my hair or the curl pattern of my hair so I'm currently trying to grow my hair out the goal is tail bone length I definitely think I'm past waist length if we're going as to where the hair is actually falling on my waist. I think I'm past it. The goal is tailbone and I'm almost there. The first length check-in that I did was December of 2022. It was about 28 inches and then I did another big length check in the summertime of this year in June and it was 31 inches. I have not measured my hair since so I do not know the exact length i'd probably put it closer to 33 32 and a half or so so the goal for december will be anywhere from 34 to 35 inches and i'm hoping that puts me very close to tailbone length as we are approaching more fall like temperatures and then soon winter i would say my hair has been doing really great at retaining what has been growing which is great i have all sorts of practices that I've put into a really good routine to make sure that I am protecting my hair as it's growing at the same time doing what I want with my hair. I am very tempted to give the ends a little bit of a dust, a little bit of a trim. I will insert a picture of what my hair looks like in a fuller body shot. The ends look like they could use a little bit of a cleaning up, but I think I'm just going to hold off and wait to December to do another big length check and then cut maybe two, three inches off depending on how the ends look. Now color. I just colored my hair. I'm super happy. I always feel like a brand new person when I color my hair. So I don't perm my hair. The only thing I do to my hair is color it. I color it myself. I use box hair dye. This is what I do. I do it at home. I do it once a year. Why do I color my hair? Because my hair is a natural ash black type of color, dark brown ash black. And I love when it is a dark, vibrant, shiny jet black. The color that I pick on the box is very intense black. And I would say this looks like a very intense black and it's beautiful. So I'll quickly touch base on the process. By the way, I have two videos of what my hair coloring routine looks like. I take all the dye out of the box, I lay everything out, I set aside the conditioner packets that come with the box, I put the color into the developer, shake and apply to the hair. Um, I apply it in sections, so I'll make sure my hair is thoroughly detangled out and then I clip my hair off into sections and then apply the dye, apply the dye, apply the dye. I start from the front and work my way to the back. Just because I do have gray hairs and I want to make sure my grays are evenly covered when I color my hair. So I do start from the front and work my way to the back and then I rinse my hair out. I do not rinse in the bathroom as I do not want to destroy all the white in the bathroom. I, use, I rinse in the laundry room sink. I'll rinse, I'll shampoo two to three times and then I'll do a really good deep conditioning treatment. I'll use the conditioner packets that come in the hair box and then I'll mix it with my Joyco Color and Door conditioner. I love this conditioner. The smell is great. I only use this conditioner Mom, for the first three to four is... washes after I color Mom, my hair. This is... And this is just to make sure I am really Mom, preserving is... the vibrancy of the color. I don't want to use any products that are Mom, going to inadvertently is... start to strip oh, the black. I will say that I was super tempted when the cooler temperatures started rolling in. So around end of August, beginning of September, I was tempted to dye my hair brown. I was tempted to dye my hair red. And this happens every single year. I see pictures of everybody changing up the color of their hair to match the beautiful color of the leaves. And I always fall into the trap of wanting it, but I resisted this time again. 
and I just held out and I went straight into dyeing my hair black. So I've been finding that as I age, I've been wanting to maintain a more natural look when it comes to my appearance. Obviously, straightening my hair is not very natural. Aside from that fact, I think keeping my hair a darker shade, as close to the natural shade as possible, helps me maintain a more natural look, but a enhanced natural look, and that is why I love dyeing it. Because my hair does look so brown or from the sun from the summertime and sometimes more ashy as it gets duller and older, dyeing it adds so much shine back into the strands. The blackness is so vibrant, so rich, so beautiful, makes my hair look thicker, makes it look healthier, makes it look younger, and I like that in terms of what it adds to my overall appearance. So I'm just trying to enhance what I got. At least for now. Next year may be different. Next year maybe I want to dye my hair a rich chocolatey brown or red or pink. Who knows? But for now in this stage of my life, I just want to keep it black and keep it long. And I think it's beautiful. So styling. This year, I think I did pretty good when it comes to trying out some new styles. The previous year, I only did one wash ago. This year I did multiple wash and goes and I'm not a wash and go person. I positively hate them because I do not like the tangles and the dryness and the upkeep that's required for wash and goes. At least when it comes to my hair, it's just too much work when it comes to wash and goes, but I tried them and I tried twists this year. I did lots of braids. I did lots of braid outs. All of that was super fun. Now that the weather has changed, wash and go time is done and straight hair season, I think, is in full swing. Lots of people are getting their silk press routines down packed and I love to see it. I'm somebody who advocates for safe heat styling. There's no reason to be afraid of a hair straightener of, or of a blow dryer or of any form of heat styling. You can style your hair with heat safely to avoid heat damage and keep you on track to reaching whatever hair goal you may have. I think for the next couple months, I'm gonna focus on alternating between straight hairstyles and then more natural hairstyles, but that are stretched. So I'm gonna be doing buns, I'm gonna be doing ponytails, braid outs, half up, half down, and then I'll probably braid up my hair maybe one or two times before the end of the year. But either way, every wash day will be including heat. And I have added some great new heat protectants to my stash. I got a Matrix one. I've been using a Tresemme one currently. And I also finally picked up a Chi Iron Guard. I'm super excited to try that one out because Chi's just like that old school classic brand when it comes to heat styling but I've never tried the iron guard and I'm looking forward to trying that out in my hair and then lastly the products that I'm going to be using for the remainder of the year and at least for the next little while are going to be focused on color preservation strength softness shine moisture all those goodness I'm going to continue to use my Cantu daily oil moisturizer probably keep using my Tresemme keratin smooth shampoo because I love it it's almost done and I'm going to repurchase it. And then the only thing I'm going to be switching up here and there are my heat protectant sprays and then maybe trying out some new protein treatments or conditioners or hair masks. Other than that, I kind of want to keep things really simple, really easy, because I find that oftentimes we get too antsy with wanting to try out new products. We end up doing too much too fast and we damage our hair or we derail ourselves from our hair goals. I don't want any part of that. I just want to stay on track. So let me know what you guys are doing with your hair currently. Are you in the straight hair season movement? Are you still wa rocking wash and goes? What products are you going to try? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.